Hello everyone and welcome. I am Chef Christy and on this channel I share a wide variety of delicious recipes each and every week. So please subscribe if you have not already and you might want to hit that notification bell then you will know as soon as I upload a new video. So what I am making for you today is what I like to call a pantry meal and all that means is I am using ingredients that I have in my kitchen on hand and what I am making is super easy and delicious and it is only four ingredients four four ingredients and you're gonna feel fancy and you're gonna just impress your family and it's for a spaghetti carbonara <laughs> okay so you will need spaghetti However, if you do not have spaghetti, any pasta will work just fine. And then you will need eggs and bacon. But you could also use pancetta as well. Then your cheese. And I am using a Parmesan, but you can use a Pecorino or a Romano. Even the blend of those three cheeses would be delicious. So those are your four ingredients. Spaghetti eggs and bacon and cheese so this is a dish that you could even eat for breakfast brunch dinner it's quick and easy i'm excited to share this with you so let's get started so the first thing that i'm going to do is i have a pot of boiling water and i'm going to season my water with salt now you need to be very generous with your salt because this is what flavors your pasta so do not skip this step make sure you add enough salt to your water. It's very important. So you want to be generous, like I said. Then I'm just gonna drop my pasta. And I'm using an angel hair pasta, so this cooks very quickly. So while my pasta is cooking, I'm going to cut my bacon into pieces. And I am using four pieces of bacon and then I'm going to fry this bacon up. Okay, so while my bacon is frying, I'm going to crack my eggs, and I'm using one whole egg, and then four egg yolks. Okay, so now I'm just going to scramble my eggs and then I'm going to add my Parmesan cheese. Now, I don't know if, you, if there's a good measurement of this or not. I think it's a personal preference, around a, maybe a half a cup, but listen, you can put in as much cheese as you want. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. All right, so then I'm just gonna scramble the eggs and the cheese together. Keeping my eye on my bacon. And my pasta. <laughs> this grows really, really quick. I'm gonna see if this pasta is done. Almost there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add my eggs to a large bowl, my eggs and my cheese. Okay, so once your bacon is cooked, I'm going to remove it from this grease. Okay, 
next I'm going to get my pasta okay so what I'm going to do is I have just moved my pot of, of spaghetti over and I'm just going to add this directly to my egg and and my Parmesan but I'm just going to add a little bit at a time and then I'm going to mix and toss this because if you add it all at once you could have scrambled eggs and and you do not want that and it's okay to have a little bit of that pasta water in with your spaghetti that just makes a nice creamy sauce Da, da, da. We don't want to waste. So the hot pasta cooks your eggs and it gives you a nice, creamy, delicious sauce. And now I'm just going to add my bacon back into my spaghetti. Oh my goodness. This looks so good. Ooh okay, and of course, I mean, uh, I'm gonna have to add a little bit more of this cheese. Okay, I'm also going to add just a little bit of black pepper. And then I wanted to tell you, if you wanted a larger quantity, just add more pasta, add another egg yolk, and it should be fine. And another thing that you can do is if you need to thin your sauce, just take some of your pasta water and just put some of that pasta water in and then just stir it in there. And that'll thin it and it'll make it go further. And it's still going to be creamy and luxurious, delicious. Oh, it is so good. I'm gonna have to add some more cheese. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so now I have got to plate this delicious spaghetti carbonara. And the trick of the trade is just to kind of spin your plate as you're applying your spaghetti to build your little nest. Okay, listen, this is absolutely delicious. And here's another option. If you want to, you can just throw some frozen peas in there and that would be delicious as well. But I've got to sample this. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. So easy, so delicious. And like I said, it is fancy. You're gonna feel very, very fancy and impress all of your family and friends with the spaghetti carbonara. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon with more recipes.